Hi everyone, welcome to Math and Logic. Today we will see how to calculate squares of numbers from 60 to 90. It works for numbers up to 100, but we'll have something better for that. This is the hardest part of the first 100 squares, I will later explain why. Once again, we'll use here a very fast method to get last two digits of any square. I call it method of 50s, because of lack of a better name, and you should find link to it in the corner. Before we continue, I suggest one thing to make it a bit easier. Memorize that square of 77 is 5929. 77 is easy to memorize. It also helps to memorize the result that there are two nines in it, and also 5 and 2, which sum up to 7. Ok, let's get to it. Let's say that we want to square 64. To get the first two digits of the result, we multiply digits of our number, then double that and ignore units. So 6 times 4 is 24, and times 2 is 40 something. You don't care about the exact result as we ignore units anyway, so it is faster. Second step is simply adding that to the square of first digit. So 4 plus 36 is 40. So our result is 4000 something. Now, we get last two digits from method of 50s as I mentioned. From this we know that our square ends up the same as square of 14, so with 96. And the result is 4096. Second example. Square of 87. 8 times 7 is 56. 56 times 2 is just over 110. We don't care exactly because we take only hundreds and tens, so 11. Now, 11 plus 8 squared is 75. Result will be 7500 something. From method of 50s we know that something will be the same as in 13 squared, so 69. Result is 7569. And now a bit of a problem. There are some exceptions as listed here. As you see, exceptions are numbers ending with 8 and 9 but with 77 instead of 78. That's why I suggested memorizing 77 squared. The exception is just that you have to add 1 to first part of the results. That's it. Let's see. Let's square 68. 6 times 8 is 48 times 2 is 90 something. So 9 plus 36 is 45. But because this is one of exceptions, it will be not 4500, but 4600 something. We get ending from 50s again, it's 24. Alright, so let's practice whole thing with three more examples. 83 squared. 8 times 3 is 24, times 2 is 40 something. 4 plus 64 is 68, so it's 6800 and the ending will be 89, because that's ending of 17 squared. 6889. 79 squared. 7 times 9 is 63, times 2 is 120 something, so 12, plus 49, it's 61, but because it's one of our exceptions, it's 6200 something, ending is 41. 77 squared, 7 times, no no, that was the one to memorize, 5929, I hope you didn't fall for that. If you think that this quick calculation of last two digits is a scam, then see my video with description of it and when it shows up also a demo of it. If you have any problems with memorizing squares of numbers up to 25, then I have a video on that too. And if you like it, then subscribe the channel and like the videos and check my logic puzzles as well. Thanks for watching!